What's up guys and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to do a review on Kiss and Ardell Lashes comparing the kits that are offered in stores. Full on review on what to look for before purchasing these two products. If this is your first time watching, don't forget to subscribe. Here are the lovely video chapters. And without further ado, let's hop right in. So we're rating the Falscara Kit by Kiss and the Seamless Underlash Extensions from Ardell. I got both of these products at CVS. You get your lashes, you get your bond and seal, you get your tweezers. Okay, so with Ardell, your lashes, as you see, there's more and it emphasizes six wears. You receive a bond and seal, you get tweezers, and you get a remover. Just off of what comes in the kits, I'm leaning more towards Ardell already. The reason why I'm leaning towards how many hairs are coming inside of the kit, I'm giving them a bad rating off the simple fact of the generalizations amongst the hairs everyone's eyes are not the same which means if you have uneven lids you will not be able to wear this lashes properly and i say this because they don't give you enough length options to work with as an artist we run into situations where we have to analyze someone's eyes before we apply lash extensions since these are custom diy at home lash extensions you will have to customize your lash map and tailor it to your eye shape and your eyelid due to that if you have one eyelid that is not similar and it may sit a little lower than the other eyelid you will have to adjust your numbers so that your eyes balance out and look the same you will waste your 20 dollars buying this product and you will have to buy more product so that you can tweak to the right customization that fits you and suits you the best. And I also feel like the other stuff is very self-explanatory. There's no remover in the KISS one. And providing a remover at the same price is good because someone's going to want to take them off. Obviously, Ardell cares about customers not ripping off their lashes, which is why they provided a remover. Because KISS did not provide a remover, I'm going to insert a clip right here that shows you how you can take yours off at home in the event you cannot get access to a remover. And the Ardell hairs have more of a thicker band. So basically stacking these you will have to be careful on how you stack these hairs because you don't want the band to be too too thick and then it starts to poke you in the eye or irritate you this is the kiss band the band is still just as thick as our dells however the hairs feel a little bit more softer now for the fun part putting them on and testing out how the product works i'm going to put kiss on this side and our dell lashes on this side Make sure you got your mirror. Make sure you comb through your lashes. So I'm combing through my lashes and Ardell's has the underneath. So I'm going to put these underneath. If you put your lashes on underneath, put them on underneath. When you're doing your hand positioning, if you need to rest your hand on your face, rest your hand on your face. So I'm making sure I'm holding my wand and it's pointing in the upward position so it makes it easier to go underneath and put the product on so i'm not combing this through my natural lashes i'm only going to put this at the base in the root so the bond on kiss is drying super quick It feels like it's getting tacky really really fast so with these hairs the way that the hairs are shaped from the inside going to the outside it looks like you can only do a cat eye so I'm going to do a cat eye and typically I tell you guys to work with three three lengths This angle is so bad. Oh my God. These tweezers are so hard to work with. Kiss? What the hell? Okay. <laughs> Whew, we got the 10 on. All right. Now we're going to put on the uh, next one or this one's not even labeled so we're just going to use this i'm just using the lengths the shorter lengths i'm taking the next length 
and this one going underneath like a hook okay so they're easy to put this one was easier to put on maybe it's just a section that I was putting it on in putting the next one on all right so that's three and then I'm gonna put on the next one okay so taking these out with the tweezers is really difficult you're gonna have to use your actual fingers to pull these out versus using the tweezers oh hold on let's make sure we on there girl hold on now okay all right so all right so they all on there okay so I have all of the hairs on let me go ahead and I have one left so I have I didn't use all five I only used four but here they are now I'm gonna take my seal side and remember I tell you guys to apply this to an applicator so that your lashes do not get all so your tweezers don't get dirty so I'm taking it to an applicator okay and then I'm going to rub this across the base and then now I'm going to take my tweezers and I'm going to squeeze them together teeth pointing out okay lashes are on and look I know I'm making this look so easy but I have so many videos where I show you guys how to do this step by step I'll make sure to put them on the screen for y'all now we're gonna dip into the Ardell Wispy tray and we're gonna do it on this eye. So we're gonna start with their bond. So using this side. Okay, so their bond, their bond is straight. So they don't have like a curve. So that's my only fear for anyone who is going underneath and trying to put this on. It does not curve but you just got to be really really careful since it doesn't curve and have like that top point for that control so here we are we're gonna put this on now my left eye always twitching so if you see my left eye twitching just don't mind it ignore it i think my eyes are just tired okay so this product is dispersing a lot through my hairs okay so i'm just gonna put i'm gonna be careful on this inner part here and we're pushing remember we're pushing it up into our natural hairs we are not combing through our hairs we're pushing it up the product at the base of our lash line all right ardell has where you can do tens so i'm gonna take a 10 Starting at the inside corner, going underneath like a hook. Boom. Just like that. Oof. Okay, that one's on. That first inner corner always gets me. Next, I'm going to do the 12. I'm just going to assume the 12. So some of these hairs are two pieces and some are one piece. I think that's cool that they give us multiple options. This one is also, this glue is also tacky as you guys can see it's like sticking. This is a 12. Okay. I'm going to put another 12. Because I want it to look the same as my other side in terms of lengthwise since I don't really have much options on kiss these are gripping really really good 
And then my last length, I'm going to go in with a 14 on my outside corner. Okay. And now I'm going to use my bond, or I'm sorry, now I'm going to use the seal, take it along a different brush, and then rubbing this and focusing this underneath my lash. Okay, just like that. Oop, I want to make sure I stay in frame. So just like that. Um, and now I'm going to teeth out, right? And I'm going to squeeze. Put, oop. Do this with my eyes closed. Perfect. This is what they look like closed. You can't tell there's a difference. This is what they look like open. Turning my face to the side. This is what the curl pattern looks like on this side with the kiss lashes so you guys can see how it's curling over into my lid space. This is how the Ardell side is curling with my curling, the how the hairs are curling up into my lid space area. Turning my face back this way the Ardell Wispy Lashes are more dense than the Kiss. If you guys prefer if I do a wear test when I start to compare different lashes, let me know because really with the wear test, we're comparing how strong the ceiling is and how many days we can go. If you like this video, let me know in the comment section below how you feel. In my opinion, based off of what I'm given inside of the kit and for the price, both of these are gonna average you out to $20. I will go with Ardell, you get more product for your buck. The only thing that I will be careful with is the lash curl on the Ardell Wispy ones. Their curl is a little bit more relaxed, where Kiss has a more tighter curl, but you get more options and variety. Lashes, again, like I always say this, this is my favorite thing to say because the standard of eyes and eyelashes is not a one size, one color, one shaping, one design, one length, none of that. It does not fit everybody. This standard of lashes is different and we're not staying boxed in to the previous standard. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe.